As mask mandates seem to be coming to an end in a lot of school districts, it could be signaling the end of a dark tunnel. And that could not come soon enough, as many students are suffering from anxiety and some even having thoughts of suicide. 7 Nash News anchor Carolyn Clifford has more on what's being done to help students' mental health. Carolyn? Such a big issue. So many kids feeling isolated during this pandemic. The impact of COVID-19 concerning the principal of Cass Technical High School so much, she decided to have a mental health week before letting her students head home for winter break. Victoria Wilson is a senior at Cass Tech. She has a full ride to the University of Michigan, plus offers from Stanford, Harvard, and Princeton. Yet over the last two years, she found herself spiraling into depression, anxiety. The pandemic has brought on a lot of tough situations, like financially, in terms of family death. I've been behind in school. Victoria, who got help from her school counselor getting back on track, is not alone. Many teens have experienced mental challenges during this pandemic, and without intervention, it can lead to serious consequences. Suicide among young people in Michigan now ranks as the second leading cause of death for those between the ages of 10 and 24. That's why the principal of Cass, Lisa Phillips, decided to have a week of assemblies dedicated to mental health. Why was it important for you to bring this to the students of Cass, and especially right now? The students at Cass Technical High School and any school, they need to know that we care. They need to know that we're listening. According to the CDC, emergency room visits for adolescent girls attempting suicide spiked by more than 20% in 2020. It was linked to a lack of connection to schools, teachers, and peers. This assembly in the gym is the first time in nearly two years that students have come together face to face. Demetrius Harmon, a social media influencer with 1.5 million followers, was the guest speaker. Demetrius grew up in Detroit and launched his own You Matter clothing line in seventh grade. He speaks openly about mental health issues. When I was in high school, it was really hard to just find myself and find like hope, like hope in, in anything, you feel what I'm saying? Like just dealing with depression, just dealing with anxiety. Like. According to the CDC, anxiety among young adults has soared during the pandemic. Students are struggling with isolation. Devin Green is 17 and a senior at Cass. So many kids have struggled through COVID, especially yes. with mental illness. So many things have happened. How's that been for you? It's been very troubling. It's just, it was like a huge culture shock. You would never expect something like that. It seemed like it was something like a movie. Your freshman babies coming in have different yeah. worries than Devin, who's a yeah. senior. The seniors are thinking about the future of college. The freshmen are saying, this is my first time in high school. Where are my friends? This at a time when mental health agencies across the state are struggling to fill job openings, leaving children untreated. The social workers came in here from different schools to support us. And because they came in here, I think they're going to take this on the road. For Victoria, being able to express her feelings and listening to her peers gives her peace of mind. And it made me feel recognized because I found out that there were people just like me and I didn't feel alone in my struggle. Michigan schools had a student to counselor ratio of 691 to 1, second worst in the nation. Experts say mental health professionals can be vital to a student's psychological well being, especially as the pandemic continues to cause stress and social isolation to their lives. So important to listen to kids and get them help if they need it. Glenda, Brian. An incredibly important issue to highlight, Carolyn. Without that you. social piece, they have been hurting. So yeah. thank you so much, Carolyn.